please welcome the reigning Miss USA 2012, Nana Merriweather. Nana, how you doing, darling? Looking beautiful in red. Thank you. Looking great in blue. Thank you, girl. So. Nana, we got to talk about this. You have the most fascinating family. Tell everyone a little bit about them. My parents are pretty crazy. Okay. <laughs> My mom, she's a lawyer. She has an MBA and she's a CPA. My father was the first African American to go to Duke University. And <laughs> when he was 28, he decided to run. He broke the record for the 100 yards and he'll forever have it because the race was changed to the 100 meters. Pretty cool stuff. Now, tell us about um, the work of your foundation, the Merriweather Foundation. Yeah, it's based off the work my parents did in the early 1980s, earning just $100 a month. My father, who's a doctor, worked in a very rural hospital where I was born. Um, to this day, we're in five countries. We've opened clinics, uh, orphanages, we open schools, and we work a lot with HIV AIDS. Beautiful, compassionate, smart, the perfect Miss USA. Thank you, Nana. We'll see you a little bit later when you crown Miss USA 2013. Maryland! Look at Miss Maryland. Oh, I love how she worked that sash. See, just a little something like that shows off whatever personality you can do, especially since you're wearing all the same swimsuit. But you know what? Every single one of them are all unique. Okay, see that little touch of attitude Miss Marilyn did? I love how she just took to her train, opened up the slit a tiny bit, and rode those stairs right on down. She's working it. She's got the wind. She's like in a photo shoot right now. It's beautiful. Marilyn. I started playing volleyball in the eighth grade. It wasn't such a big sport on the East Coast, so I had to work very, very hard. But I became a two-time NCAA All-American and played professionally in Puerto Rico. Following that, I trained in Colorado Springs for the 2008 Olympics. Maryland, Hi, Maryland. Pretty in white, Maryland. Maryland picked from the bottom. Thank you, Maryland. Judge number six, Joe Jonas. What is your question, young man? Joe Jonas. What is your view of Toddlers and Tierras, the TV series in which children compete in beauty pageants? I think there are a lot of stereotypes about pageant women out there, and shows like that do promote it, but me and all the fellow contestants here tonight are strong women. I mean, I'm applying to medical school, I was a two-time All-American at UCLA, and I have so much to give, and stereotypical shows like that do paint a bad side of pageantry, but we are strong and beautiful women. No go-go juice Thank for Maryland. You. No go-go juice for no, Maryland. No. no. Okay. Marilyn, tell us why you admire Angelina Jolie. Well, I was born in a rural village in South Africa while my parents were donating eight years of pro bono medical and community work. I admire Angelina Jolie because she's exposing her children to the way I grew up. And I just really, really connect to the way she's raising her kids to be more globally aware. Very good. Thank you, Marilyn. Thank you, Marilyn. In 2006, I entered my first pageant. After competing over and over for six years, I still had no state title to show, and some people told me to give up on my dream of one day becoming Miss USA. My dedication paid off, and I stand here on the stage for a final time. To those on a similar journey looking to achieve a dream in the face of doors closed, my message to you is grow strong and persevere. I have so many people to thank, including my parents, Paula Shugart, Mr. Donald Trump, and all of the wonderful people at the Miss Universe organization. I stand here humbled and honored as your Miss USA 2012. I'm living proof that with hard work, perseverance, and a bit of faith, anything is possible. Thank you very much, Nana.